Hey again everyone, it's me Matt and thank you for joining me on today's video. We're talking about the Patriot Missile Defense Program today, a program that is absolutely incredible in its capabilities, but it is certainly a bandwagon that many countries are trying to get on board with, and a very costly one at that. And today we're talking about Switzerland's new involvement recently, uh, with them also getting on board of that Patriot bus. But why is this such a big deal? Well, let's talk about it a little bit today. So. The country has always opted to try and acquire the Patriot missile system from the United States. It's not something new, and it's a choice that's captured the attentions of many nations recently and provoked discussion on the consequences of this strategic acquisition, especially with what is going on in Eastern Europe. Now, Switzerland's decision to purchase the American-made Patriot missile defense system has been solidified through a contractual agreement as part of the nation's Air 2030 program. The contract was signed on October 30th and is quite a significant step towards enhancing Switzerland's air defensive capabilities. Lockheed Martin, one of the manufacturers of the Patriot system, confirmed the deal but did not specify the exact number of Patriot Advanced Capability 3 MSE, or Missile Segment Enhancement Missiles, that Switzerland intends to acquire. Notably, the US State Department has previously granted approval for the Swiss request to procure Patriot equipment. The most recent approval, granted in 2022, authorized Switzerland to purchase up to 72 Pac-3 MSE missiles, amounting to roughly 700 million US dollars. In 2020, Switzerland received clearance for a $2.2 billion package, which included five fire units, radars, launchers, and 70 tactical Pac-2 guidance enhanced missiles. The contract stipulates that Switzerland will pay 300 million Swiss francs, approximately 331 million US, for the latest interceptor variants, including the Pac-3 MSC missiles equipped to defend against a wide spectrum of threats, including missiles, aircrafts, drones, and even cruise missiles. Switzerland's core Patriot components are set to be delivered by the manufacturer RTX, commencing in 2026. Pac-3 missiles, however, are anticipated to be supplied by Lockheed via the US government in 2028 and 2029. Switzerland thus becomes the 15th country to acquire the MSE version of the Pac-3 missile. In addition to the Patriot system, Switzerland's Air 2030 program also encompasses the procurement of 36 Lockheed-made F-35 fighter jets at a cost of 6 billion Swiss francs. Now, the Patriot missile defense system is developed by Raytheon and is highly regarded for its dependability and adaptability. Engineered to provide protection against a broad spectrum of threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles, the system encompasses a very advanced radar technology, command and control centers, and a diverse rate of missile interceptors. The United States, along with various NATO members, have successfully deployed the Patriot system, illustrating its efficiency in the realm of air defense and missile defense across Europe. Now, Switzerland has traditionally maintained a formidable national defense force emphasizing territorial defense and self-sufficiency as the cornerstone of its policy of neutrality. However, the acquisition of this new system marks a discernible change in Switzerland's security strategy. Although the nation remains pretty firmly committed to its tradition of neutrality, the decision to procure the Patriot system underscores its willingness to modify and fortify its formidable air defense capabilities, aligning with the evolving contours of the global security dynamics that we have going on today. Now, for its capability, foremost, the acquisition of the system really elevates Switzerland's air defense capabilities, enhancing its capacity to thwart various aerial threats, encompassing short and medium range ballistic missiles, and in doing so, the nation bolsters its national security, safeguarding its territorial integrity, which is critical with what's going on as of right now. Also, with the system being integrated, it allows for a bigger, wider defense strategy that approaches with NATO's member countries that are doing the same thing with its own Patriot system, which collaboratively creates a network of sharing that information of how they can utilize these systems with one another. And that's how Patriot works. It's a bigger network of aerial defense, and it works very, very well. Now, Switzerland's decision somewhat underscores the international appeal, though, of American defense technology and emphasizes the competitive edge of the American defense firms in the global arms market, which is basically saying, well, the US military is really being able to pump out huge amounts of this equipment, and of course, so is the defense sector having to meet that. If we get so many customers that are from other nations stealing that of the US military's capability for getting these things replenished or upgraded, etc., it kind of diminishes the US military's, I guess, friendliness to subsidize their biggest contractors to make these weapons. Switzerland's strategic shift though in defense policy, while significant, must be evaluated in the context of the nation's time-honored tradition of neutrality. Rooted in the 19th century, it's been instrumental in shaping Swiss foreign policy and continues to be a pillar of the nation's identity. With the acquisition of the Patriot missile defense system, it marks a discernible departure from this policy 
Nevertheless, though, it does underscore Switzerland's recognition of the evolving security landscape in Europe and the necessity to adapt to emerging challenges. The decision for them to really pull this encompasses a really, really important message that if something was to go you know, wrong or something did kick off, Switzerland has one of the best aerial defense weapon systems out there to do so. Um, what it means for, you know, say, Russia and other nations around the world, I don't think it's going to change too much, but there are a lot of bigwigs out there, especially when I'm reading through news articles, things like that, where there's some concern. Um, and I don't truly think it's concern about the threat nature of uh, the Patriot being put into Switzerland. But as I mentioned before, more so the financial implication and the bolstering of the defense industry able to keep up with this many customers that are using the Patriot missile defense system. There's only so many missiles that can go around. There's only so much capacity that a defense contractor can produce at any one time. And with Switzerland adding more and more upgraded systems and better missile platforms for their own program, it's putting strain on that war machine if it needs to get spooled up. Um, RTX, a absolutely huge corporation, Raytheon Technologies, along with Lockheed, um, I'm sure they're able to keep up to the tempo, but it certainly asks some questions as to, I wonder if they can, if something did ever go off, continue to feed these nations with Patriot systems, uh, either maintenance or capacity or even just the ammunition to have those missiles ready to go. The Patriot system is inherently extremely complex. It's going to need huge amounts of upgrades, whether it be software or physical units. Uh, and that in itself is going to be a longer term investment. Buying the equipment itself is just one part of Switzerland's probably, um, you know, I wouldn't say problem. It's the actual ongoing maintenance and upgrade of these systems that's even more costly than just buying this stuff. And it's kind of interesting to see Switzerland go that way because they already had a fairly formidable system with the Pac-2 missile. Now they're upgrading to the Pac-3 and they're clearly saying we're still wanting to get up to date with the more modern style systems that exist. And that makes sense, but it comes at a huge cost. And uh, the money that floats around in a program like this is astonishing. We're talking billions and billions of dollars to defend against a threat that inherently hasn't been one of the biggest focuses in the European conflict that is going on with the Ukrainian war right now. Uh, we're more talking about ground articulated battles, drone warfare, not missiles that cost, you know, $800,000 a pop uh, when launching to knock out you know, aerial targets that are at long to medium range. So, you know, these are sort of a doomsday weapon i would say they're there if necessary but for the most part patriot is not being utilized as much as uh, as necessary and that's a good thing of course we don't want patriots and really need to be launched because it means somewhere down the road somewhere is uh, using something that is way above the normal uh, conflict situation equipment that's being used that we see in ukraine right now but uh, i hope you learned a little bit about you know why switzerland's making this decision they certainly want to keep and bolster up their forces what's your opinion on this does it make any difference is it a ripple in the water at all or is it a wave in the water? And do you think the defense sector or the, you know, industrial war machine of the United States can keep up with these nations continually wanting to procure new weapon systems like this? It's kind of interesting. I'd like to see, you know, what the facts and figures are for that. It's hard for me to disseminate and find that information because, of course, most of it is classified or restricted. But if you know of any information uh, that you feel is pertinent to this conversation, let me know. Let's talk about it. It's always interesting to uh, discuss with you guys, my followers, as to what's going on in the defense world. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day feel free to check out my description box below where you have my links to my patreon my paypal and thank you to everyone who's been supporting me financially on my channel i cannot thank you enough and also i do have my instagram my facebook and everything else along with my own clothing brand that i am sponsoring uh attire for effect they're a great brand they make artillery themed clothing really really cool stuff including flags patches and things like that feel free to go check them out and thanks again for watching if you want to be notified of any upcoming content in the future click that little bell by the subscribe button take care folks Bye-bye.